Welcome back to CBS This Morning. News of a successful coronavirus vaccine is giving a huge boost to the effort to stop COVID. The drug giant Pfizer said yesterday that its vaccine candidate has, was more than 90% effective in early testing. Dr. Anthony Fauci, the government's top infectious disease expert, called the news extraordinary. He also says there are likely to be other effective vaccines coming soon. Dr. John LaPook shows what this could mean for the fight against the coronavirus. The news from Pfizer was even better than expected. I would have been very satisfied with a 70% effective vaccine. According to a Pfizer press release, out of almost 44,000 trial participants, 94 got sick from COVID. Four weeks after the start of the two-dose regimen and seven days after the second dose, protection from symptomatic COVID was greater than 90%. We were jumping out of the chairs, screaming, basically, this is unbelievable. Oh, my God, it, we may put an end to this ter terrible pandemic. Pfizer's and chief scientific it, officer, so Dr. Michael Dolston, expects the company to file for an emergency use authorization of the vaccine within two weeks. Pfizer is one of four vaccines in late stage trials in the U.S. Moderna is also reportedly expecting to release interim data later this month. Dr. Anthony Fauci says Pfizer's results could help convince even hesitant Americans to roll up their sleeves. You tell them, by the way, I have a vaccine that's more than 90 percent effective. There will be much more enthusiasm about getting that vaccine. No doubt about that. Louisiana physician Dr. Victoria Smith joined Pfizer's phase three vaccine trial this summer. She sees hope in their results. I was ecstatic. Also, you know, I feel really privileged and, and honored to be part of, of history. Operation Warp Speed, the federal government's effort to accelerate development and distribution of a COVID vaccine, has pledged to buy 100 million doses, enough to vaccinate 50 million people, with an option for another 500 million doses. We want to have multiple successful candidates to have vaccine available for all 7.5 billion people on the planet. So Dr. Really Mark Mulligan to... leads Pfizer's phase three trial at NYU Langone Health in New York City. It's not like flipping a switch. It'll take a long time before there's enough supply available to get enough people vaccinated. We do need to manage that expectation. Beyond supply issues, there are challenges around the distribution and administration of the vaccine that requires ultra-cold storage. Now, in terms of who's going to get it first, it's going to probably be first responders and people at high risk. And then over the course of 2021, others will gradually get it. John, Anthony? how John, how long does the protection from this vaccine last? Big question. Nobody's really sure. And Pfizer says it is possible that we will need to give people boosters. So it, 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 it was developed in record time. What, eight months we're talking about, John? There are going to be some people who say, that seems awful quick, I'm nervous. Um, what, what would you say to them? You know, aside from the reassurances from Pfizer and the FDA and Tony Fauci, I think people would be reassured by knowing this wasn't just whipped up out of thin air at the beginning of this year. It's built on decades of research. There are things called vaccine platforms, and very oversimplistically, think of a prefab house, and on the top of it is the genetic code that gives instructions for a certain vaccine. You have a vaccine, say, for West Nile. You unscrew that top. You put on the vaccine instructions for Zika. And then you unscrew that and put on the instructions for SARS-CoV-2. So Tony Fauci was telling me that the vaccine for the first SARS, SARS-1, took about 20 months, gradually got less and less. For Zika, it was three months. And for this vaccine, it's about two months. So that gives you more of a sense of the arc of the technology. It wasn't just whipped up. It, there's real science behind this. John, very quickly, there's also good news on therapeutics to help those already infected. What's that? Well, we have Lilly getting a, a, the first EUA, emergency use authorization, for a monoclonal antibody. You remember that it was a monoclonal antibody cocktail by Regeneron that was used to, uh, to treat President Trump. So there's hope that in that first week, that viral phase when the virus is multiplying, if you can get something like monoclonal antibodies to dampen down the virus, that it could be very helpful. All right. A lot of encouraging news there. John LaPook, Dr. John LaPook, thanks.